Three months ago, Lil Boosie was finally released out of the Louisiana prison system. Since being arrested in 2008, Free Boosie has become a mantra in pop culture. In contrast, his critics have called this movement ridiculous, slandering his name as a hardened criminal who has no place in this world, despite the monumental impact on the inner city communities of the Gulf region. Think what you may about Boozy, but what is truly ridiculous is the reason he was locked up in the first place. What was it, you asked? Minor possession of marijuana. Now, for the record, I don't smoke or use marijuana. In fact, I've never even tried it or any other drug. I don't even drink caffeine and try my best to avoid even routine drugs like Tylenol. However, I do study the research and know the facts enough to say that marijuana is far less dangerous than alcohol or tobacco. It won't cause cardiac arrest like oils fast food restaurants use to fry food do, and cannabis actually helps people with cancer get through the pain, as opposed to other products we have that we use daily that have been proven to cause the disease. Now let's look at the statistics. Over 100 million Americans have used marijuana. That's nearly one third of our population. Zero have overdosed or died from it directly in contrast to the nearly 500,000 people who passed away last year from alcohol poisoning or cancer caused from cigarettes. Numbers don't lie. So why do we fight it? Instead of paying billions of dollars fighting, incarcerating, and wasting resources on people using it, why not tax it and turn something that we currently lose billions of dollars on into something we can actually profit with, all while at the same time making millions of lives happier, both from the relatives of prisoners released to those who use it to fight through chemotherapy and other pain I pray I never have to feel. I haven't even mentioned the battles, money, and lives lost from drug cartels importing and distributing it, which could all be stopped overnight. It's clear as day. The drug war has failed. The United States has less than 5% of the world's population, but houses a quarter of the world's prisoners. China, a country that is four times more populous than us and is controlled by a communist government that many of us consider incomprehensible for censoring its citizens and often arresting anyone speaking out against them, is a distant second with less than one half of 1%. That's 10 times less than the United States. No other society in human history has imprisoned so many of its own citizens. In 1980, 40,000 people sat in American prison for drug crimes. Today, that number is almost 500,000. Something is clearly off. Lil Boosie stated, quote, prison is not a place for humans. It's an animal house, and he's right. Prison doesn't rehabilitate and help people move on with their lives. It punishes them for the past. Prison isn't about moving forward, often making people worse. Now, I'm not saying that we abolish prisons altogether, but the way they're used in this country to lock up those who instead need help with substance abuse do nothing but drain our financial resources without making our community safer or helping those convicted. It's insane to think that people like Lil Boosie lose massive chunks of their lives behind bars because of laws that aren't in the public's best interests and that don't make our country a better place. Of all our states, Louisiana has the highest incarceration rate by a huge number. Now, if you don't know much about Boosie, he's often called the Tupac of the South. As much of his music, Boosie's become an icon for what he represents in the community. Beyond this, being from Louisiana, a state with a notoriously corrupt legal system, especially against African Americans, to many, Boosie represents all the injustice himself as its public figurehead. He's even been compared to Nelson Mandela and locking Boosie up, a community leader and role model to millions of kids who look up to him for both his music presence and the community work he's done. This long for something so minor has nothing but a negative influence on the reputation of the already unfavorable judicial system and actually led to most ang more angst against police officers, prosecutors, politicians, and the government. But back to my point. Do I think smoking weed all day is a good idea? Not personally. But we've had many a functional marijuana addict on this show. Snoop, Wiz, and they work as hard as anyone I know. In fact, marijuana calms people down generally and makes them more relaxed, something typically good. However, anything done too much, whether it's marijuana, alcohol, or eating too much sugar, can become a problem. Instead of locking people up, let's focus on building the best rehabilitation centers we can. One in 10 Americans have been arrested on drug charges. If we spent a fraction of what we spend on trials, law enforcement, and incarceration for marijuana alone on these, we really could make the world a better place. Now we could talk for hours about other drugs and there's a legit debate for the rationale behind harder substance, whether I agree with it or not, but marijuana, I mean, come on. I have a feeling and hope that by the time I speak to my kids about weed, it's already long since been legalized across the US and they don't understand when I tell them things like stories of millions of people being locked up for it, being shocked with how much money and lives were wasted on the failed war against it. How much more obvious can it be? Why hasn't this been changed? It's simple money in the corporations who profit from running the system. 
This includes private prisons, the judicial revolving doors, and products made from inmates, as well as controlling illegal drug wars, both from the cartels to the law enforcement behind it. Look at Boosie. Lawyers profited from tons of trials. Law enforcement profited from employing more officers to track down drug users. Prisons profited from tax money to house inmates and selling work they made. And the media profited by covering all the mayhem. You may be saying at home, well, it can't be that much, right? How much would you guess is spent every year on the prison system? Again, with a large number of them being drug and marijuana related charges. Well, if I haven't swayed your opinion yet, maybe this one last number will. $60.3 billion is spent every single year in the U.S. prison system alone. Eight years old, eight, I was eight years old when I started rapping. So I want to know, is your flat top inspired by the movie Juice? Hey, 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 h